why I have chosen uh, this topic for my research and for presentation. First of all, thank you for ac acceptance of, of uh, my uh, topic. Uh, this uh, horse in Poland uh, has very long tradition and uh, in present day uh, uh, is very important species. And we have a really good knowledge uh, about history of horse in Poland, uh, more or less from late medieval time, of course, and the next uh, ages to the present day. But we have a big gap in a very crucial historical stage of Poland, which is the beginning of this state, the just foundation of this state in early medieval time, and uh, it start more or less in the 10th century. And when we look at for, uh, when we explore just our common knowledge about horse, uh, with combination of different kinds of records and data, we can construct own picture uh, like this example with some main branches uh, about significance of horse in the past and present day as well, just as a source of food, secondary use, and in the past, magic and ritual animal. And uh, some very important questions which uh, are a matter of my interest are of course emphasized with this red line and I will try to explore this in a special project. Uh, and this sentence is just taken from uh, abstract book uh, and in this way I would like to emphasize that we have some intuition about significance of horse in so early stage however the base for uh, really knowledge uh, is very very uh, shortage and is limited to some historical records, which are described more or less between 10th and 13th century. And what we can know from these uh, sentences, that a horse was in every day uh, Mm, everybody, everyday social space in nature. And we can uh, indicate commercial goods, we can indicate source of milk, and of course some positive feature of country because horse are durable and was a special emphasized to by Gal Anonymous, which was chronicle of Piast dynasty. This uh, which uh, found uh, did foundation of Poland. And another, that uh, sign of power, because horse was not available for every society, uh, every member of society. Of course, prince like Mieszko I has 3,000 armed, and he gave them clothes, horses, weapons, and everything they need. And of course, we have very important and uh, very difficult to solve uh, with support of the archaeology uh, uh, sentence that white horse was available in those time in at least two regions of uh, present day Poland that is Pomerania region and Prussia and there is no chance on the base of just archaeological criteria to indicate in our subfossil collections this white horse. And we have some other sentences 
which strongly indicated uh, Ho's uh, significance in magic and rituals. Uh, there are doctors among them who order them to sacrifice the creator what they will them to women, men, or horses. And another, uh, that it was very important and extraordinary horse. Just we can say that we have some information about, about features of horse. They were extraordinary, a special choice for uh, magic and rituals. And we have uh, uh, information about color of coat. Here is black, but we know that it's sometimes mentioned white as well. And horse, uh, the animal who forecast future in this sentence is expressed. And this is all from uh, historical records. And what we can uh, improve knowledge on the base of archaeological records. This is not so easy because we collected during history of <laughs> Uh, archaeological research in Poland, many, many horse collections. And this map is presenting sites. I can say that it's not all sites, just main sites. And what is important? Horse remains in these sites are mainly more than 90% found in post-consumption remains. There is almost no skeletons. At present, I can say that we have five sites when we have skeletons. And one uh, I will present later on. And this is just common picture with percentage of horse remains in the most important and of course chosen by me for this presentation, centers. And percentage is always the same position among this species, the last position. And we can draw in some uh, sites, thanks to long time investigation, uh, age of horse and we can notice that it was different in early medieval, late medieval and from late medieval to post medieval time. This is some kind of indication that horse was not treated in the same way in different uh, historical periods. And again, this is a construction on the base of food remains, not from skeletons. When we look at for size of horse in different centers, again, we can notice that there is no the same. This is, they, we have differences. Again, why we have differences? I would like to add that when we look at for cattle, it will be very boring picture because cattle will be the same characteristic in every site, in every center, in every region of Poland. But with horse, not. It is some indicator that the horse was quite different uh, species evaluated by human. It is just but, uh, uh, the same feature expressed uh, by box plots. We can notice very clear that every region has different population of horse. And I presented data which were, which were result of settlements and centers 
uh, research, uh, but we have uh, just um, some years ago discovered an uh, island with exception that among that uh, beside food remains, of course, we have skeletons as well. And sometimes we call island of horses because this island is surrounded with horse skeletons. And sometimes are really articulated and sometimes are disarticulated. On the other hand, these uh, skeletons are found underwater. It is sometimes very difficult to explore all. But this is a really clear signal that horse was really significant significance uh, in ideology, in magic thinking. And we have not only horses, uh, not only skeletons, we have as well cranial only uh, uh, um, together with other species in very close to this island. In almost all skeletons, we can detect sometimes very gentle and sometimes very clear, very strong pathological alternations. And we can say that this horse during life had been very uh, uh, um, strong, explored, and used for what purposes? We don't know. And when we look at for pathology, just in one side, with comparison, that horse position in domestic mammals is the last. But when we look at for uh, pathologies, this position is a little bit higher. That is, again, some signal that horse was used for more active uh, activity of human. And I have to admit that I read very carefully the uh, thesis of uh, our session. And finally, uh, I would like to express some uh, essential things about horse in Poland in so early stage. Of course, I am treating this uh, impression as some kind of preliminary. And first, the horse in Polish Slavs was only an animal profitable for food, military, and social state status. That is the reason that we have so uh, small skeletons recorded during archaeological excavation. But second sentence is quite opposite. Horse was not at all animal. It was a significant member of Slavonic society. He did meditation with gods, and he forecasted the future. That's, it was a special. And priest uh, look after for horses in Slavonic pagan uh, temples. And the third, he created an extraordinary evaluation in human mind thanks to features which was morphology of body, color of coat, and ability to fast movement, just opposite to cattle, pig, and other domesticated. And finally, the fourth, what kind of cultural context was the selective and responsible for factor to decide about horse, the animal, or the human society member, in what time, in what extent? And this will be a matter of special project, which just started in this year. And goals of this project would like to explore and just construct history, more detailed history, 
uh, to better know a horse and significance in the past. And we can try to use different uh, methods, different methodology, and try to combine uh, them, put together to make, uh, to collect different data and next uh, compare this data. And I think that they should collaborate and support uh, and finally to make some synthesis of horse in uh, early medieval uh, time. And this is my team. Uh, you can notice that there are some archaeologists, archaeologists, and of course some uh, colleagues who are specialists for uh, analyzing our DNA, isotopes, and so on. And uh, the finally, I would like to uh, emphasize that pathology, DNA, and isotopes will be really very crucial to, for interpretation about white horse, about mobility of owners of horse. And maybe uh, we can establish some roads of trade of horse when we know, according to classical, morphological, uh, osteometrical data, that it was so uh, different population of horses in different regions. When I am looking for line from uh, northeast of Poland to uh, southwest of Poland, I can say that the smallest horses are in northeast. The, uh, the uh, biggest are in south. And who knows? Maybe this is influence and uh, influence of west countries and some heritage of Roman Empire and in north. East, maybe it is influence of wild horses still presented in Prussia region. That's, this is only chance to use some modern uh, methods and considerations. Thank you very much for your attention.